Did you know scientists are trying to set up a base on the moon, essentially trying to colonize it? You heard me right, a moon base. A base on the moon where astronauts can go up and live for months at a time. It appears that the one leading the team in space exploration is none other than Elon Musk, alongside his company SpaceX. SpaceX is short for Space Exploration Technologies Corporation. It was founded in 2002, but has received more recognition in recent years. Musk is famously known for the desire to colonize Mars. He believes that making a sustainable living on Mars is crucial to the human race and our existence. SpaceX was created to revolutionize space technology and make space travel more accessible. Can you even imagine having space travel accessible to the everyday person? That is wild to think about. But that is what SpaceX wants, a society where anybody can explore space, provided they have the right technology. But first, before we start seriously considering the colonization of Mars, we must focus our efforts on the moon. NASA and SpaceX are charging forth with space exploration by first focusing their efforts on the moon. And that is when the Artemis Initiative was born. Artemis involves human lunar exploration, where we send up astronauts to the moon after 50 years of being absent. It means creating long-term solutions for staying up on the moon for extended periods. This is done by creating more efficient spacesuits, improved vehicles, a pipeline, and the development of infrastructures. It also means collaborating with international agencies to make sure that the initiative is successful. Artemis was created to get humans back to the moon. As many know, we haven't had humans step foot on the moon since 1972, and it was the longest mission on record. That mission broke many records, including the longest spacewalk, which was 7 hours and 37 minutes. NASA wants to crush that record. Since then, we haven't sent humans back to walk on the moon. In fact, it hasn't really been openly discussed with the public until recently when the Artemis mission was introduced. The question must be asked, why now? Why is NASA deciding to send astronauts up to the moon after being away for nearly 50 years? What is the reason behind the Artemis program? Artemis has several goals for its mission. First, for human lunar exploration. NASA is very honest about the desire to send more humans to the moon for further exploration, which will hopefully lead to further exploration of other celestial bodies such as Mars. NASA recently named the astronauts who will be making the mission, and it involves the first woman. Of course, we know that there are more women astronauts, but this will be the first woman on the moon. Christina Hammock Cook is a mission specialist one. She will be making the voyage alongside her crewmates Reed Wiseman, Victor Glover, and CSA astronaut Jeremy Hansen. NASA would be lying if they said they weren't a little bit excited to just get some people back up there on the moon. It's so exciting considering our hiatus. Okay, so when is this all going to happen? When are we sending people to the moon? NASA has shared that astronauts are being prepared to be on Artemis 3 and will launch hopefully as early as 2025, followed by Artemis 4, which will also have crewmates on board and will be launched in 2027. Kathy Luters, NASA Associate Administrator, says that with every Artemis mission, there will be a new level of comfort for the astronauts. They want to make sure that with every mission, the infrastructure on the moon expands. She says, with more demand for access to the moon, we are developing technologies to achieve an unprecedented human and robotic presence 240,000 miles from home. Our experience on the moon this decade will prepare us for an even greater adventure in the universe, human exploration of Mars. The second goal of Artemis is to find long-term solutions to remain on the moon for extended periods. The hope is to allow astronauts the ability to stay on the moon for a month long, which is more than two weeks longer than the longest lunar landing. The goal is to develop the infrastructure, technologies, and capability necessary for long-duration missions. Eventually, this will lead to the ability to set up similar infrastructures on Mars, which is the hope of SpaceX. So what is in the works to allow astronauts to be on the moon for extended periods? The Moon Oxygen Pipeline is one of the first ideas for colonization and setting up infrastructure on the moon. The idea, simply put, is to gather oxygen from the moon, bottle up the oxygen, and then push the oxygen into various facilities. Facilities such as natural habitats for sustainability. The oxygen extraction technology will help power the moon base for up to a year, which allows for a self-sustaining base. The pipe would be laid by the use of robots. In 2022, NASA awarded ICON $57.2 million to create a structure on the moon. They have created models of what they are going to set up on the moon and subsequently Mars, and it is done with the use of a 3D printer. The building that they will construct on the moon will be called the Olympus. A tech demonstration of Project Olympus is set to happen in 2026. Won't that be insane? 
a fully constructed habitat on another surface other than Earth? Mind-boggling. But wait, there's more. ICON is also designing infrastructures such as roads and landing pads. When rockets launch off the moon, it results in a massive amount of dust flying up, which ruins the moon's natural surface. Roads and launch pads will reduce or eliminate the unnecessary debris caused by vehicles and rockets. Not only that, but Axiom has been contracted by NASA to create brand new spacesuits. What was wrong with the old ones? Well, the ones that were used in the original moon landing had their flaws. The rocks and dust on the moon are very sharp and were penetrating their suits. For longevity, the suits need to be reconstructed to withstand the sharp rocks. NASA is also preparing to create better utility vehicles that will drive on the newly constructed roads. Most of the vehicles will look much like a dune buggy, but the scientists are also constructing a more revolutionary vehicle where the riders will be enclosed so that they don't even have to wear their spacesuits while driving. The third goal of Artemis, scientific discovery. We have more technology and capabilities than we did back in the 70s when we had our last human lunar exploration. NASA is hoping with the improved technology that we will be able to have a deeper understanding of the moon and its history. We are hoping that we will be able to get more answers about our solar system and possibly other planets. NASA wants to perform experiments on the moon's geology, chemistry, and resources. The fourth goal of Artemis is to create collaborations and unity with other countries. If you remember, when we first were trying to get to the moon, it was a race between countries. In this case, the most famous rivalry was between the United States and Russia, formerly known as the Soviet Union. This has gone down in history as the space race. The Soviet Union would do something with space, followed by the United States, and then the Soviet Union would respond. It started with Sputnik, which scared the United States. It scared the US because they started to believe that they were falling behind in the expedition of space. But don't worry, they answered quickly with the Mercury program. We were able to send the first astronaut into space. This occurred in 1961. Both the Soviet Union and the United States were then in a race to get the first man on the moon, which as we know was completed by the United States in 1969. The United States has been known to keep its missions to itself and try to be the first. Artemis is supposed to be different. In this program, they are seeking international collaboration. Instead of racing with other countries, they want to unite other countries and create partnerships. NASA is currently working with international space agencies, industry partners, and commercial entities to create global cooperation. This is much different than in the 60s and 70s when we competed. Finally, the Artemis program was created for commercial opportunities. NASA is hoping to grow its private sector presence and market in space exploration. NASA aims to leverage commercial capabilities for lunar activities, such as lunar lander services, cargo transportation, and future commercial human missions. We are all excitedly waiting for the revolutionary steps that are being taken to be an intergalactic species. The sooner we can set up an infrastructure on the moon, the sooner Elon Musk gets to do his thing and try to colonize Mars. We are all so excited to see where the scientific world takes us. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Are you excited for the future? Would you live on the moon if you could? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on our next trip into space.